now reached a point where half of all cancer patients can be cured. And radiotherapy has played a critical role in this success story. In fact, it's the second most successful treatment for cancer after surgery. But there's more that can be done, especially for hard to reach tumours in places like the brain or spine. There are problems too for children whose bodies are especially sensitive to radiation. Proton beam therapy is a highly advanced new form of radiotherapy that could help these patients whilst also limiting possible side effects. The UK currently has a low energy proton beam facility, but it can only be used for treating rare cancers of the eye. More complex cases need the high energy type. So since 2008, the NHS has paid for people with deeper, more complex tumours to go abroad for high energy proton beam therapy, usually in the US or Switzerland. But it's tough on patients and their families and some are too sick to travel. It's not a sustainable option for the future. In 2013, as part of a major review of radiotherapy services, the government announced an investment of 250 million pounds in two new high energy proton beam therapy centers, one here at University College Hospital London and here at Christie in Manchester. To support this initiative, Health Education England is developing a major new educational programme to ensure that the workforce are ready for this exciting new future. But let's start with a bit of background. So what is proton beam therapy? It's a super precise form of radiotherapy that only delivers its lethal payload of radiation in the tumour and not beyond it. Now, for most cancer patients, today's modern X-ray-based radiotherapy is so sophisticated that they don't need proton beam therapy. Its advantages are for a very select group of patients, and for them it can make all the difference. For example, children with brain cancer, hitting only the tumour means that they avoid potential side effects, such as learning disabilities. And here's the science. Conventional X-rays hurl little packets of light, called photons, in the direction of the tumour. A bit like throwing a small ball at a big thick jelly, they enter fast, get slowed down a bit and pass on out the other side. Even with very modern precision radiotherapy, X-rays can still cause damage to all the tissues they pass through. Protons are particles from deep inside an atom. Now imagine your jelly again and throwing a tiny but really heavy ball at it. Protons don't travel as far and quickly come to a dead halt. But their unique trick is that they release a sudden burst of energy as they stop. That's the lethal payload bit. It'll be 2018 before the new centres open because turning this science into a clinical facility is a huge undertaking. To hurl protons at a tumour, you need a cyclotron. It's only the size of a big car, but it weighs about the same as a Boeing 747. Inside the cyclotron are high-powered magnets, which strip protons from the hydrogen atoms in water before supercharging them. These amazing 360-degree gantries deliver the proton therapy. They're hugely complex, 100-ton machines, each as tall as a three-storey house. You won't be surprised to know that there's quite a lot of specialist reinforced concrete needed, 17 foot thick in places, weighing one and a half times the weight of an aircraft carrier. And in London, there's an additional challenge. Much of it is being built underground. So these two centres are a triumph of science, engineering and construction. It's not just buildings that have to be ready by 2018. A whole new specialist workforce is needed, which is where Health Education England comes in, making sure that the staffing for the National Proton Beam Therapy Service is in place when these remarkable facilities are completed. Health Education England exists to improve the quality of care for patients and we were established to focus on training, 
education and development of both the current and the future workforce. We recognise the importance of the National Proton Beam Therapy Programme and we at Health Education England have an important role to not only upskill the current workforce but crucially ensure that our future workforce are here in the right numbers, in the right places, with the right skills but also importantly the right values and behaviours to fulfil the needs of our future patients. New treatments aren't introduced to the NHS every day, so this is such a unique opportunity for us at Health Education England to really look at workforce transformation. It's an incredibly exciting moment for us in radiotherapy treatment and in actual fact for all the history of cancer treatment in this country. Modern radiotherapy is incredibly efficient, incredibly sophisticated, but proton beam therapy takes us just to a quite new place for highly selected patients. But for children in particular, most of their tissues are very sensitive to standard low doses of radiotherapy. And for them, this makes the whole difference between you know, their future uh, and the long-term side effects and their outcomes. So that, to me, is the difference between very good and excellent. This type of radiotherapy is just part of the NHS service for a small group of patients whose options are currently very limited. The two new facilities will treat around 1,500 patients a year and the cost of treatment will be around half what the NHS is currently paying. What all this means is that more people will be cured of their complex tumours and have a good quality of life.